All right, so picking up where I left off in episode 12, this is episode 13, and um, we got this particular test to pass, but this is not a great situation. We just have this kind of useful or useless passing test here, um, calling this hard coded thing. So I guess the easiest way um, I can think of to force some intelligent processing on this, at least for this parameter, is, um, let's see, we'll say execute a verbatim query for uh, different URL value. And all I'm gonna do is uh, say URL equals, uh, what was I calling a single profile place. And I'm gonna take, oops, this string and replace it with, come on. No, introduce local. And this isn't the URL, it's actually the updated profile. Now, I'm gonna type this again. One of the things I try to do is catch myself whenever I'm copying and pasting execute location search. When I copy my, uh, catch myself copying and pasting, I try to force myself to retype to feel the annoyance of the duplication, which tells me I should probably refactor. Um, I'm wondering if I shouldn't pull some of this setup. Uh, oops, no, we want to say updated profile. Wonder if I shouldn't pull some of the setup uh, or some of this general boilerplate into the setup, but I'll worry about that later. I like to vary this a little just so, um, I don't know, it reinforces that it doesn't matter if it's different each time. Uh, inquisitor. So now I want to say that we've executed updated URL, and this should occur once. And it won't. So what's going to have to happen now is that I'm actually going to have to do a little bit of legitimate parsing of this JSON. Um, so this is maybe not my most common approach, but um, uh, no, not without a uh, person. So JSON.net. I just want to find something like, you know, you maybe want to hand roll it and then introduce something later, but I mean, this has to be a pretty well solved problem. So let's see if I can go to NuGet. Uh, what? That's interesting. Oh. Hey, look at that. That's sort of creepy. Performance JSON framework. What does that mean? Newton soft JSON. Okay. So I don't, it's been a while since I had, since I had occasion to do this, I'm assuming I'm assuming that this probably does JSON parsing. Schema. Uh, 
uh, what? JSON serializer. Now you can convert right to objects. That's interesting. Link to JSON. Well, that sounds fun. Samples. That's always where I go first. Link to JSON. Add manual text. Uh, interesting. Creating JSON declaratively with link. Parsing JSON array using jarray.parse. Okay, so if you create an object, yeah, I'm sold. This looks cool. Go forth. So I want to create this J object and then essentially just pop the URL parameter. Let's see if, uh, what? Sign in. Let's hope none of this is necessary. All right. Uh, let's see. So, what I actually want to do is create this J object. Var JSON equals J object. Cool. So far, so good. And there are tests that are not happy about this. What's the problem here? Unexpected character. Ah, so if it's not legitimate JSON. Okay. I think that we're going to have to take this and do this here. Yeah, that'll fix these. And it knocks out our duplication kind of in one fell swoop. That's always fun. Uh, that's good. Now remember one of these tests will, or two of them should be failing. Uh, this one should not. Okay, so it doesn't like that this isn't properly formatted JSON. Um, this is probably okay. We still wanted to do that for nonsense. So are we at, we had four tests that are failing. This is always interesting when you're, you've got layers within layers. Ah, this one is also failing. When I supply location Wheeling, Illinois, why is this failing? Um, okay. Here's what we're going to do. Got a little duplication in this system here, but oh, for goodness sake. Nothing's ever easy. I will live with that for now. So we'll say single profile. All right, now there's three. Now we actually have to go and clean up this mess. Um, Okay, there's way too many things open here. <laughs> Profile searches. So now, uh, json.parse loaded j object. Oh, that's interesting. It's not tossing an exception. 
and close some of this stuff. I would expect this to throw an exception. So we go in here. Uh, if location text is null, otherwise. So we pass in location text. And this guy actually will return, I guess, null, because we haven't set it up to do anything. Or no, it returns this. And what's actually happening here? Oh, I see. Um, so it returns an empty enumeration for nonsense. So if we pass in, well, I actually don't know if this test, so according to GitHub, I don't know if it's this class's um, position to determine that this is nonsense. So uh, I'm actually going to delete this test because that may be nonsense, but we're one step rem removed from GitHub in that class. So that's up to GitHub to determine if that's nonsense. This is just passing it on through. Um, so I don't think that test is appropriate anymore. Okay, so now we're back to a properly failing test, which is happening because we need to, now let me go back to the, oops, code example here and O2 string. This is not like an awesome example. Okay. So it's a J object. Uh, JSON dot. That's eh, not real helpful. So we have successfully. J object dot parse list of string counties equals new list of string for each county and results. Or maybe I shouldn't be reading the question. Uh, JSON parse counties. What? List of county. Deserialize object. Uh, so I could convert this to an actual, I mean, this isn't what I want. Really all I'm looking for at this point is something where I can get a set of key value pairs. Um, parsing JSON, jtoken.parse. Uh, <laughs> this is not like super helpful. Um, O dot two string. What? Like, what is this even doing? Parsing Jace. Okay. Okay, I'm with you so far. <laughs> Objects, arrays. Uh, <laughs> creating JSON. Querying JSON with Lang. Hey, that's. Uh, RSS channel. Oh, there we go. Channel title. That's exactly what I'm looking for. So what we probably want to do. What am I doing over here? It's called. All right, I'm going to go out on a limb here and say. Uh, oops. No, what? I am just fumbling around, don't mind me. Avatar URL, I do not care about. Okay, just URL. Um, I call this profile URL equals JSON. A J token. Okay, so I don't know what a J token is. 
string. Oh, you got to cast it. It's not my favorite. Let's try this. All right, that got everything passing. So that's cool. Um, now we're actually parsing this thing properly. The trouble is, uh, we need to do this maybe for, um, the, the actual like scenario that's going to happen is this, oh, sorry, I'm going to pause. That's my phone. All right. Apologies for that interruption. Uh, rest assured it was a horribly unimportant sales call. Uh, but all right, where were we? So what I was saying is that the thing to do is, um, now make this able to, where's our, so right now what I'm doing is just passing in a single profile, but like really it's going to be of this form. Um, so I'm going to copy this over into sublime and do my find and replace. And then this is going to become one massive string and I'm going to create failing. Where is visual studio? Ah, <clears throat> now I'm going to make tests fail by doing this. Oh, right. Forgot one more control H we're going to replace these with these. And bang. So this should cause two failing tests um, just because the JSON parsing is now going to blow up. Although interestingly enough, it doesn't blow up in quite the way I would have expected. Uh, it's just never called with this. So I guess the parsing is robust enough. Um, what we want to do I guess is then say that it's we're going to go after the first item. So I wonder if items now we got to figure out how to exactly step through this. Uh, eh? <laughs> and I like that. I wonder if this worked for any of them. No, it's blowing up everywhere. Um, So I suppose I have to go <laughs> follow the instructions. Uh, RSS channel. Channel item zero. And where's my JSON? No, that's not readable. Oh, but it will be if I do this. So items. I probably want to do this. Oops. All right. That made these tests pass, but now it's failing. The acceptance test should still probably be failing. Oh, the acceptance tests are just both failing now. Ah, because Location search, no. Results parsing feature. What I'm doing here should probably soon go into end to end, I think. Uh, no, stop formatting. Uh oh, why do I feel like Visual Studio is about to crash? That would be like a fitting end to an episode because we're like getting it to about the time too where I should wrap up. We're right at about, ah, okay. Are you back yet? I feel like this episode's going to end in Visual Studio crashing. Oh, this JSON was just more than it could handle. Let me, just in case it does figure itself out. Let me copy this again. Ooh. Let 
now we should be back to our original failing one. Um, what am I testing here? I think I should actually move this to an end-to-end -end test. So let me make note on Trello to do that next time. Um, And I think I'll call it for this time. So again, I'm not going to commit this code to um, uh, to to anywhere because I don't have passing tests. But I am going to think about because this is really I'm. Uh, let's see. I like this concept, but I think this um, that I, that I should make this an end-to-end -end test. I'll think a little bit more on that, and maybe we'll not worry too much about it just as we get it working, but um, this does strike me as something that I should actually be testing through GitHub. So anyway, see you next time.